that. My name's Freako, and, and I got a scripture tattooed on me. I really don't know what it says, but it looked good in the Bible. That's so messed up. But it looked good in the Bible. Oh my gosh, how is this guy not getting beat up by all these people? That's so mean. He has that on his body for the rest of his life. Uh, my name's McKenna, and I like to walk like a duck to make my butt look bigger. Oh, uh, Like... These are going way too far. That's something my friends would probably say. <laughs> That's like everyday girl talk. I don't want it. I wear pants with sandals because I can't decide if I'm hot or cold. <laughs> That's really dumb. That's so stupid. These are all so stupid. Montez, and I shop at H&M so people think I'm fancy. <sighs> that makes people fancy? Since when? That sigh at the end is so obnoxious. <laughs> Some people's hers are so funny. They're funnier than the actual video. My name is Matthew and I look like a big ass marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Matthew and I look like a big ass marshmallow. <laughs> 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 he just does the... <laughs> That's a good way to respond. I hope they're like pretty good friends with him. It's kind of mean. I feel icky from this. <laughs> I don't like it. My name's Rosetti, and I have tattoos so people think I'm edgy. Hmm. He's so dead inside. It's his voice. It's like hysterical. Oh my god, his voice is so annoying. I, my skin actually crawled. Talk about what we just showed you. Uh, I just watched a bunch of people getting roasted on Snapchat. Funny little voices, which were really annoying, but... Had me cracking up. This is kind of like very juvenile. If you're gonna roast people, do it creatively. And challenges aside, what do you think of the videos themselves? Honestly, I don't think they're that witty. They tend to be really hilarious. Some of the burns were kind of funny. But as long as the other people are okay with it, I think it's all fun. It's only funny depending on the insults that are said. But if you're just saying random observation, it's like, oh, I wear collared shirts because I think I'm fancy. Huh? Like, no. Why do you think trends become so huge and then so quickly they take a turn and they are so over? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of funny how that whole thing works. Just seeing the same thing over and over again, it. You know, you get sick of it. People see other people doing it, like, oh, it looks fun, looks cool, and it starts to turn into, like, one big fad. Everybody wants to do it, kind of like the damn Daniel. Everything's just easily accessible. Everyone can see everything really quickly, and then when someone pulls out a challenge like this, it may take a while for it to blow up, but then once everyone's kind of had a peek at it for once, it's kind of just like, okay, it got old really quick, you know, let's move on to the next thing. We're kind of accustomed to that now. Everything seems to just disappear so quickly. Our attention spans are so little that we just can't focus on something for more than a few minutes. So a criticism of this challenge that some say is that making fun of people is almost the point of the challenge. What are your thoughts around the aspect of a popular trend having that element in it? If you're gonna do it, like you have to be really careful what you say. It's funny if people are in on the joke and they know what's happening and it works, but if not, it's just done improperly. When people take it as far as like going up to people that they don't even know and doing this challenge, and they don't know if it's right or wrong, they just are doing it because everyone else on the internet is doing it, I think that's where it goes wrong. If it's just a few friends doing it, it's okay, but once it becomes this widespread thing, it's a little scarier because people think it's just normal to go up to someone and just be, uh, mean for fun, and that's just straight up bullying. It's really damaging to some people, you know, especially if it's like in a high school setting and you're making fun of like the lonely kid. Then that's taking it overboard. You're, you're taking it over to a level where it's just like you're not being funny anymore, you're just bullying someone. There should be a limit to it, you know? You should have like kind hearted fun and be like, okay, that was a joke. Okay, let's move on, you know?